Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm doing a tarot card read for Aries. So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, but cross watches, you welcome here as well. This is going to be for June 14th through to the 30th, take what resonates and leave the rest. But remember, not all messages are for you. So just take what resonates, don't try and make it fit. Um, quickly, while I'm shuffling, I'd just like to let you all know I will be uploading July's readings towards the end of June. Then I'll be leaving the channel for a while um, because, as everybody knows, I'm expecting a baby and baby will be due. Um, I will be coming back to the channel after um, a few weeks once I've got everything settled with baby. Um, so that's just a quick heads up. So, show me, please, what is coming towards Aries. Um, as everyone knows, I'm an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, so, you know, these readings are, are, every time, I always sit on the edge of my seat, because I think, what is coming towards us, guys, because we always seem to, we don't do things by half, um, we ever have a complete shit storm, or everything's amazing, there's no, there's never no in between for us poor Aries, and that's why, we are the warriors of the zodiac because it, well, it's a good fucking job we are really. Um, sorry, I'm just giving these cards a real good shuffle because I've not used them for a while. Just let your spirit get into the knack of it. There we go, stop shuffling. So as you all know, we get the cards out, see what energies I'm dealing with and I'll relay the messages to you. So what is coming towards Aries, June 14 through to the 30th. Thank you, spirit. What is coming towards Aries? Oh wow, you can really tell I've not used these for a while. Huh. What is coming towards Aries? Okay. Let's get some more cards out, Aries. all up in our emotions what a surprise <laughs> so the bottom of the deck we have got the tower wow i mean we shouldn't really expect anything less for an aries reading should we now everyone always says you shouldn't be scared of the tower it means change transformation but you know to me the tower is fucking scary because especially if you suffer with um, you know, some sort of anxiety, depression, you know, if you're a creature of comfort, that tower can be terrifying. The tower, tower can be terrifying because we don't like change, we don't like upheaval, and yes, the tower is the universe saying this shit just didn't stand in anymore, everything has to crumble, everything has to change. It would be pointless for me to say to you, don't be scared, don't be worried, it's the universe clearing the path. That's not going to make you feel any better. You're still going to be shit scared when this tower does fall, when everything does feel like it's crumbling beneath your feet. It, it is scary, it really is. But because you're an Aries, you will get through it. That is the strength with the tower in an Aries reading. No matter what it is, we always get back up and fight. So whatever tower moment is going on in your life, yes, know that it's happening for a reason. Yes, everything will be more clearer when it's happened. But yes, it's going to be scary when you go through it. You've got to prepare yourself mentally. And I think this is why this Ace of Swords is here. The major power card of the reading, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is you thinking hard. You are getting real clear on things right now, Aries. You're speaking your truth for once. Rather than being a people pleaser, you are speaking your truth. And a lot of things are being revealed to you right now. A lot of things, not everything, but a lot of things are being revealed. And some of you are having like a aha moment. Like things are going to start making sense. Now, Four of Cups message from Spirit. As I've said, things are going to be revealed, but... There's a lot of stagnant energy. Like I say, some of you are a creature of habit. You're, you're like your creature comforts. But there's a lot of things that the universe does want to bring in. 
but I don't think it can happen until you've cleared some well let's just say there's some fog going on because I've got a princess of cups reversed cancer Scorpio Pisces energy you may have Pisces somewhere in your chat she is all up in her emotions I feel like you're all up in your emotions not in a in a uh, what's the word I'm looking for not like a depression I'd say more of a anxiety your emotions are all over the shop maybe something's been revealed to you that has been not hurtful but it has definitely got you in your feelings it this is almost like you can't quite let go of grudges you can't quite let go of things that have caused upset that have caused pain and even though you're going to start to realize why these things have happened you will start to get your answers it's still going to make you feel shit you're still going to feel shit but there is also a female energy here i'm feeling who was extremely jealous of you aries um, she likes to see you when you're down. She doesn't like to see happy things happening in your life. And the reason I'm saying this is because I've got a moon card here at the bottom. And when I said to you with this Ace of Swords, things are going to be revealed. It just can't all be revealed at once. There's still things that are unknown. That's what this moon card is saying. Things are still unknown right now. And again, there's a lot of water energy here, but there's also things going on that you're not aware of, that I think you need to be, you need to prepare yourself for. You need to get mentally prepared. Because the moon with the tarot is, it's almost like there will be some shocking revelations that come out. Some truths that need to be spoken, and sometimes they are painful. But it will help you move forward. You will get the answers that you seek. But there's a lot of mystery and a lot of unknown here. And some of you have also got psychic abilities, but you're not tapping into them, Aries. You're very, very low in your confidence right now. You're feeling very low. You're not feeling very upbeat. You don't... It's almost like you just feel a bit stuck, a bit down in the dumps. Let's get some clarification and see what's coming towards you, Aries. Let's get some clarification. You clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries, please. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Confusion. Clarify the Four of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Princess of Cups reversed. Oh. Mm. And clarify the Moon. So there has been a lot of confusion. There's also, you, I feel like some of you are punishing yourself for mistakes you've made. You wish you'd have done things differently. And the universe is saying it's pointless thinking like that. That was, everything is happening for a reason. And you had to make mistakes, maybe possibly make bad choices to help you get to the place that you're going to. And it may not make sense. Things may not make sense, but they will. Now, this page of swords here with this four of cups, I feel like this is communication. Someone wants to communicate or someone will be communicating with some type of opportunity or something that's going to lift your spirit, something that's going to make you happy. But if you're all up in your emotions and you're feeling down, you may miss this. You may say something like, no, I don't think I want to, I don't think I'm ready, I don't think I can. However it it plays out, the universe doesn't want you to miss it. Spirit doesn't want you to miss it. We've got the strength card, Santa Leo. This is saying you have got the strength to put your mind to whatever challenges you face. doesn't matter how big or small the mountain is, you can climb it. And you may not be climbing it alone. This is saying things are going to start getting better. 
I think you just need to realise or remember who the fuck you are, Aries. You need to remember who you are. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. Because you're all up in your head. And there has been concern with money. There's been some concerns with money. But with this moon card, it's saying you don't know what the future holds. The universe does. But if it was to tell you now, you'd probably fuck it up. Or because you're so confused and in your emotions, you'd make the wrong decision. So it's putting you through the trials one by one. But there is going to be someone or something that's going to bring some financial stability. Things that are going to feel a little bit better. It's going to take the edge off things. Let's get some more cards for this reading for Aries for June, please. Some more cards for Aries. Hmm. Oh, I knew it, Aries. I knew it. <clears throat> so I said what I said. Wow. Someone really has got you feeling like shit. Something or someone has got you all up in your head. Ugh. Right. Let's get one more card for Aries. So you are suffering, some of you are suffering with some minor depression, anxiety, you're not sleeping or you're not able to get the sleep that you need, you're not able to eat what you need to eat, you are very, very, I, I, it is anxiety, I can feel heart palpitations for some of you, you're, you, you really are struggling, panic attacks, someone's having panic attacks, ace of cups, reverse. You don't feel loved, you don't feel appreciated. You don't. Some of you don't even know what love is anymore because all it seems to do is fuck you over, hurt you, cause pain. And you are gonna be walking away from something. You're like, I'm, I'm done, I can't take this anymore. I have put my heart and soul into this situation and I am getting shit back. And the only way for me to feel better is to start from the bottom. So I've gotta walk away from everything. I've got to walk away from my own you know, my own peace of mind, my own self-esteem, my own mental health. I've got to give up on this now because there's there's no point staying. There's nothing left. And you're walking into a brand new future and you're scared, you're anxious. You've got several choices that you need to make and some of them are difficult ones and some of them are easy ones. And you're stood and you're like, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go. But I know I've got to go somewhere and the universe has got your back. The universe is saying we are right there with you. Whether you take the hard road or the easy road, you'll still learn lessons along the way. But we have got your back. Please don't worry. Please don't fret. Life is fleeting by Aries. Don't let it fleet by you. Can I have a Le Monde, please for Aries? Wow, Aries, some of you are not going to like this reading, but I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you there's that moon card. <laughs> right, Aries, it's telling you to cut some shit out of your life. Anything that's toxic, you know what makes you feel like shit and you're hanging on to it like a dead weight. And a lot of you, it's to do with a man. It's to do with the man who's making you feel the way you are. Half of your worries come from this individual. He's very dominant. He can be, come across as quite bullyish. You dare approach this individual sometimes with problems you've got because you know it'll cause more problems. A little bit of a prick. We've got the bed house. Now, that can indicate a new home for some of you. Um, uh, it, it's almost like something new something new starting, needing to create a new home. This is also a phone call, a text. This is communication. This can indicate gossip or, you know, passing information. And I think for some of you, you're going to be getting information via, I don't know, possibly Facebook, Messenger, Twitter, something. There's gonna be some information that's, that's brought to light. And that's why that moon card's there. 
and it's gonna fucking hurt for some of you. It is gonna hurt. You're gonna figure. You're gonna find something out. Either someone gets in contact with you, or you go through someone's phone or Facebook, and you find information out in regards to something. Uh, can I have a card, please, for Aries? So we've got unfinished symphony, but it is in the protection which is reversed this is basically saying that when unfinished business casts a shadow over your life it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage it is not in your best interest to stall even stumbling forward is better than holding back don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted you just need to tie up any loose ends any shit and deliver the results don't quit before the finish line because spirit wants you to win this is asking you to not falter don't falter off the path just go with it everything that's coming in you know everything that's revealing itself to you some of it's going to be good and some of it's going to be hard uh, it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow but don't let that deviate you off the path you've got to keep going forward and even though it's going to be scary and you're unsure of what the future holds there is going to be something waiting for you. This, the universe and your spirit guides won't leave you without. I'll leave the reading there, Reese. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Keep your kitchen with Chappie by giving me a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.